A lot of Call of Duty players, no matter what skill they have, want to know the best settings to use inside of Vanguard. So yeah, this will be showing you today. Well, anyway, people, here are the best settings to use inside of Call of Duty Vanguard. So obviously, I'm using a controller, but the horizontal stick sensitivity and the vertical stick sensitivity, I use a high of 7. I would recommend anywhere between a 6 to 9 sensitivity, but anywhere over a 9 to 10 sensitivity, that's where it gets a little crazy for me, but I just play in an average of a high. 7 sensitivity. The ground vehicle and air vehicle sensitivity, I played a 0.7 and 0.9. Don't really know what these do since there's not vehicles in multiplayer, so I'm guessing that's for the campaign or war zone. ADS sensitivity multiplayer is 0.7. Yes, I recommend anywhere between a 0.5 or maybe a 1.0. Anywhere between the middle is definitely really good. Because you need knowledge if you're a high sensitivity player, but I, since I'm a slow sensitivity player, I like to just play it at a little bit of an average sensitivity. Custom sensitivity per zoom is off, button layout is default like every other COD I play. Vertical aim on foot is standard, vertical aim, ground vehicle standard, 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 especially aim response curve. Controller vibrations is off, I have that on sometimes, hee hee. Weapon fire threshold is on, advanced controls, ADS sensitivity transition timing is instant, ADS sensitivity multiplayer setting aim is 1.0, stick layer present is default, controller orientation is up, ADS stick swap off, left trigger minimum input dead zone and right trigger minimum input dead zone and left stick minimum input dead zone and right stick minimum input dead zone are all at default. Left stick max input dead zone and right stick max input dead zone is at default. And we go over to the new thing which is gameplay. Target aim assist is on, ADS aim assist is on, weapon mount activation is ADS plus melee, weapon mount movement exit is on, I don't really know what any of these do. This is like new to the game besides blind fire. That is definitely new to the game because that's where you can shoot while you're hiding behind environmental structures. Kind of like what Rainbow Six Siege has. Automatic airborne mantle is partial. Mantle stance queuing is on. Automatic sprint is off. Auto move forward is off. Sprint cancel reload is on. Sprinting door bash is on. Slight behavior hold toggle. Aim down sight behavior is hold. Equipment behavior hold. Steady aim behavior, hold, that's hold, that's tap to reload and toggle. Now if we go over here to the graphics, uh, field of view is definitely one of them I will definitely recommend. You want to bump or above 100, between 120. I don't play at a max 120, I play between 120 and 100, which is 110. So yeah, camera mu movement is default at 100%. World motion blur, weapon motion blur, and depth of field. And all this, you need to have motion blur just off in general. That would make your life 10 times easier when you have both of these off where you can see more when you're turning around in the game. Audio, master volume's at 100 just so I can hear footsteps very far away and very up close to me just so I know where the players are at. Music volume is 50, dialogue volume 100, sound effects volume is at 80 but that's because I have a loud headset just so I can hear the footsteps close, very close. Interface, that's all the same. Keyboard and mouse, I don't play with a mouse. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the best settings that I use inside of Vanguard. If you wanna use them, you can. And yeah, that's literally it.